Ho! Brent Fiesta here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, uh, we went to the Shooting Star Summit, and we got some anime, and we uh, heard the Star Spirit story, did all the important plot stuff. So, at the end of the last episode, we were told to go visit Merlin, Merlon, who lives in this house, right here. Hello. Oh, but he's not here. Let's... Um... The gossip of, Okay, something about gossip. Yep. You are here. No. Oh, there we go. And, uh, Mario's been knocked out. Yep, it's pretty great to find somebody sleeping in front of your house, I'm sure. But, oh, no, it's a famous person. That might even be worse, actually. See a famous celebrity just sleeping in front of your house. So Merlon is, uh, is a wizard, and, um, by the, uh, fortune, t uh, or it's the, the crystal ball here with the star in it, because of course it's Mario, um, he's obviously a fortune teller. So, there are other things he must speak about first. Okay. So, in the old days, there was, one of his ancestors was up on the shooting star summit. Oh, a, a great appeared, and far away. The pious, raised up, so young, our hearts, and then, so, and such, and, and then, and that's all that matters. <laughs> I think that I find that still funny to this day, that Mario just falls asleep while somebody's talking to him. Oh, Mario, you're so representative of <laughs> normal people. <laughs> okay. So, Merlin is going to be, he's our key NPC. He's the one who's going to tell us, uh, he's going to have the best hints for us as far or as where we're supposed to go next. But yeah, pay him. So he's kind of like a coin sink. Okay, so we are supposed to go to the Koopa Bros Fortress is what he said. Uh, but Bowser already told us that, so... Save the game. Obsessively. Alright. Hey! I remember you guys. You're... It's too dangerous. I would love to go to Koopa Bros Fortress, but apparently that would be a mistake. And we're not supposed to ask Merlin for help. That would be an even bigger mistake. But uh, you guys seem pretty trustworthy, so I guess we'll just do something else. Still... Still yet to find someone who will dance with Mario. Is this... Is, are you ready yet? Nope. Okay. Well... Shoot. I don't know where to go next. So, as I just said, let's go ask Merlin. Um... Hey. Hi. Yep, there's some strange toads. I'm pretty spry for an old man. Keep up. We can get there first! Get there first! Get there first! Oh. Okay, it automatically happens. Take off. Yeah, no, they look like toads. I mean, they're... They're black like toads, and they have angry faces like toads. And that guy was doing like a cool, you know, shrugging his shoulders sort of thing. Whoa. Teach us that magic, wizard. We only got like a stupid wooden hammer. Like Thunderbolt would be an amazing uh, attack to have. So you should hey. We need help from a blue shelled Koopa. Okay. Well, we can bro. We can probably figure that out. Blue shelled Koopa. Got it. Great. Okay. So welcome to Chapter One: Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So here we go. We're going to start to see some random battles once more. First strike. Boom. Alright. Um, first things first. Look at that. Look at that action command. Look at that lucky star. Alright. Goombario, tell us some things. This is a Koopa Troopa. No kidding. Uh, so they have four defense or four HP, uh, but they have a defense of one. So as we saw when Mario did the first strike, uh, he did no damage. 
I uh, just did like a little tiny star like when we tried to attack Bowser. Um, but if they get flipped on their backs, then they become vulnerable. Uh, so their um, defense goes down to zero. And we are able to defeat them. Whoops. Well... Whatever. Oh, we're um, slightly damaged. Maybe you should have healed before we went out here. We'll be fine. Whatever. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, see, we'll get healed on our own. There's gonna be another one up here, I know it. Okay. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Good work. Two Paragoombas. Nothing all that, uh, you know, relevant. And that was a spiked Goomba and a Paragoomba. That gave us two hearts. Great. Let's see what this badge is. This is the Dizzy Attack badge. Oh. So wearing this badge, um, it will actually turn our spin attack into a Dizzy Attack. Um, it looks kind of goofy on the recording, but whatever. Um, yeah, so it would allow us to uh, kind of confuse our enemies by just spinning into them. A different sort of first strike. This is a Fright Jar. Basically we release it and then there's ghosts. And the ghosts will scare the enemies away. More great items. Like this one. This is actually a really great item. The POW block. Very important. Um, have we seen one already? I don't remember. But it flips over ground based enemies. Like this guy. Whoa. Oh, okay. I was afraid that they were uh, gonna get the first strike, which we're not gonna let that happen. Can't let that happen. All right. This is actually gonna be one instance where you want to split your attention on both uh, enemies, because if you attack a Koopa Troopa with a jump attack, then they can't flip over the next turn. So rather than just focusing on one, you want to split their attention so that they're uh, they continue to be incapacitated. Okay. I'm getting sort of close to an, uh, another level, so... have to keep an eye out for that. Great. And in this tree... Hey, there's a switch! Let's press it! I see something hiding on top of that block. You can't, you can't fool me. You can't buy me, hot dog man. Oh, couldn't get the first strike. But that's okay. Uh oh, okay. There's nothing really Goombario can do in this battle, which is um, first strike wouldn't have really mattered anyway. Then and I like how I was all originally like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be super good about the footage cuts and all that, and now I'm just talking through every battle. Look at that. Cut his damage in half. Health.com. Never, never been to that site. So, not advertising for it. Great. <laughs> that was really good timing. Um, and of course I talked into the battle again. No, uh, I did that entirely wrong was not paying attention and now I am and now I am the dead bleh okay you jerk die now you are the dead but again we're taking just like minor hits here so it's not really that big of a concern there's somebody up here I know it no I guess not okay uh, down here we have uh, something we can't do yet. So we'll come back for that later. Here, that's another sleepy sheep. I'm just gonna leave it there, because I don't really like that item. Come on. Come on. Go. So bad at this. We did it! So much money. Uh, I felt like there was something in between those blocks. I definitely know there's something in between the... Oh. It seems so perfectly spaced for like a secret. Oh, hidden block. Yeah, boy. Mario party all up in here. All right, next screen. Oh, this is fun. 
Um, what does the sign say? It just tells us... We can go to Koopa Bros Fortress, but there's Koopa Village down here first. And because of what, uh... What's-his-face said, we should probably go find a blue-shelled Koopa. So this is actually pretty fun. Um, if you cycle around this guy, he actually drops, uh, healing items. Which is, uh, and it makes a very, uh, fun little sound. So that's a, that's a good way to heal yourself if you don't feel like going all the way to a toad house. Alright, let's see. Over here we have some blocks. Really? Nothing secret? There's probably something secret that we just can't do yet. This sort of thing happens. Uh oh. So, the green shelled Koopa Troopas are actually uh, good Koopas. I mean, we met one in Peach's Castle way back when. And, um, but they appear to be in some, uh, some big trouble because of the fuzzies. Um, no, tell us. Oh, thank you. Okay, um, like that one. Oh no! So, these guys don't wear pants. Um, so the fuzzies, actually, they steal, um, they've been messing with the Koopas, stealing their shells. The Koopas need that to live. Or to at least be functional. So, <laughs> or it's embarrassing, I guess. Which I guess is, uh, relevant to being functional. Um, so what we gotta do is go through and kind of solve all the, uh, the Koopa's problems. And I think if you time this just right... I'm just not really timed. Yeah. If you hit a fuzzy perfectly, then you'll be able to get a coin from them. Yeah. Free that guy's shell. Good work. Us. It was made to order? Really? Uh, inside here, you get a Koopa Leaf, which is the special item for the Koopa Village. Um, which of this is this useless? Either of these, really. Um, I'm never gonna use this. Because you don't want to scare enemies away, you want to get the experience. Hmm. Blue Shelled Koopa. This is a Blue Shelled House. Let's go here. Hmm. You're not blue shelled. Okay, so these these bob bombs ran away from the Koopa Bros Fortress. They were being overworked or something. Or they they just want a little piece. That's fine. Yep, and they were overworked. So uh so that's another thing we'll have to look out is uh, helping the overworked bob bombs. Okay. So you're fine, you have your shell. Um Sneak up on this guy. Got it. That house back there with the green shell kind of looks, uh... Looks like they're having a little party in there. Okay. I want to try to get this guy when he comes back around. going to be right there. Look at that. Okay. So I think the last... There should be one in here, I believe. gonna come around here. Roughly here, I guess. Oh, you tricky, tricky Kool-Aid. You will dance with Mario, won't you? I got it. Good work. Go team. Alright. So this one, we gotta push the block. And look at that. Puzzle solving. All right. Yep. Uh, we are so clever. Um, which house is more important? Let's check the pink one first. Oh, it's this old guy. Hello. Okay. So you're you're old. That's the that's the catch. Inside this yellow house, this is actually an important house. Um, so this is uh this is the house of Colorado and his wife, who doesn't get a name. Um, which is really great, uh, except not really. 
that was, that was sarcasm. Um, Colorado is a famous explorer uh, who we'll probably run into at some point uh, in our adventure. Spoilers. Okay, nowhere I are left to check but here. Are you now? Hey, look at you. You're wearing blue shoes, and I saw a blue shell in the background. Yep, that's us. We're Mario. You're Cooper. You have a name, so you must be important. Wow. Yeah, okay, we can help you. I mean, he was very polite, so let's get the... Okay. So we gotta, we gotta get this guy's shell back. York. Oh, you jerk. You jumped out the... the something. I don't even know what you... York. Okay, I can get you, I can get you. Okay, you don't even like, uh... Alright, so this is... these are fuzzies. Um... Let us... That should be enough to take that one out. And then Goombario doesn't have enough to take this one out, so we'll... They need to chill out. They had kind of. Okay. So the thing about fuzzies is they are like the Zubats. So they um they can steal your health. Um it's really hard to kind of time the action command. I used to be really good at it, but uh as you saw, I was not as good at current. So how we doing? Okay. We're really close to a new level. Okay, get back here. Okay. Can I... Ah, I got him. I got him. And there's not enough here to get us an uh, extra level, so... So butts. There we go. Look at that. And you... But I think the next, the next battle should definitely be enough to get us an extra... Um, what am I trying to say? A level up. There we go. How much cash do we got? 101. Yes. Thank you for accidentally pressing that button. I would really like that. That's a really good badge. Um. Back here. Get back here. Don't cry. Don't you dare. Oh, okay. This is kind of a, a spot. So here's a little mini game. Uh, where we have to... Mjork, Mjork. <laughs> yeah, Mjork, Mjork, Mjork. Alright, so we have to figure out um, where he is hiding. So, I'm gonna kinda pay attention. He is in this tree. I did it. I want that. Are you spiders? Like, what's with the thread? Okay. He's in the far right tree. Alright, this last one is kind of difficult, so I'm um, gonna pay attention again and not probably talk. He's in this one. I did it! I would love to take the stupid shell. Great. Maybe. Okay. So this is what the actual music for Koopa Village sounds like. Alright. Nothing else to do here. Hey, it's you! Alright, so he wants to- he wants to fight. He's got his, uh... He's regained his- his bravery, I guess, we'll go with. We are the greatest, really. Blue Shell Koopa, hey! We're supposed to be on the lookout for you. Um, I've heard of him. I've heard of the state of Colorado. Oh, and then this guy, Goombario, knows everything about everything, so... Koopas are born in eggs? I learn something new every day. Yeah, no, I would love to, uh, have you on my team. So we get our second party member, Cooper! Um, Cooper is a Koopa. With a blue shell. Um, he uses uh, attacks where we see like the Koopas kind of go into the shell and a spin attack. 
Uh, I believe Squirtle does the same sort of thing in uh, Smash Brothers. Um, and in the field, you can uh, kick the Koopa shell to hit things that are far away, or to retrieve items that are on islands or too far away for Mario to reach. Kind of like the boomerang. Um, so this seems like a good uh, place to pause um, and continue in the next episode. So we, were, we are going to do exactly that. So in the next episode, we are going to, now that we have help from a blue-shelled Koopa, uh, we are going to go to the Koopa Bros Fortress. So I have been Bread Fiesta, and I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to.